I'm Mrs. Turner, for those of you who do not know, and today we are going to be doing a cloud in a cup experiment. Cloud in a cup experiment. This is related to the water cycle, which is one of the skills that you all are responsible for knowing as second graders. Okay? So we're going to be able to see the stages of the water cycle. So that you are familiar with it, which you should be because you learned a little bit of it in first grade, we are going to show you a video on brain pop about the water cycle first. So listen carefully so that you'll be able to tell us some information that you've learned. Whoa! Rain is a part of our planet's water cycle. What is the water cycle? Most of Earth is covered in water, but water doesn't just stay in our rivers, lakes, and oceans. Water moves through land and through the air. The water cycle is the movement of water on, above, and below the surface of the Earth. It's a good thing it's not raining here. You're right, Moby. It's pretty sunny. The sun helps power the water cycle. What happens when water heats up? Energy from the sun heats up water in lakes, oceans, and other bodies. <laughs>
is that you are going to have to complete this activity. You're going to have to collect your data. You all are now going to get a blank sheet with the procedure on it. Your activity is then that you're going to write down a statement about your observations. You're going to write down a statement about your observations. And you're going to talk about the data that you and your, your group collected. How many drops did it take for it to start raining in your cup? Okay, thank you. I don't need you to tell me out loud. And then you're going to come up with a conclusion. You're going to talk about how many drops it took before there was a change, and what happened to the clown, and why did it happen. Okay? All right. So everybody's going to get a copy of this page, and you will have to complete this by tomorrow. Is that clear? Yes,